Wednesday continues and how we deal mentally with what's around us is just as important to our physical well-being. Right now, the big question is mask or no mask. And regardless of what you do, someone is bound to have a comment. Dr. Victoria Kelly joins us with how to deal with both sides of the situation. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So we know in Ohio officially the mask mandate is going to be lifted here in the state. But in the meantime, people who are vaccinated in many places um, are saying you don't have to wear them. So there's kind of a lot of confusion right now um, if we should be wearing them or not. There's a lot happening. Yeah, I think with the CDC's recommendations that just came out recently, you know, it opens up this whole new world uh, for everybody. And we start to get the feeling of, oh, maybe we can get our lives back to normal. But but really, it's a, it's a good time to stop and pause for a second, because if we think back a year ago when the mask mandates first came out, and as a society and for our individual families, how much of an adjustment that was. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be like that this time around also as we readjust to what this next phase of life will be without these mask mandates. Yeah, absolutely. I got so used to wearing one. It's like going into a store. I think I'd feel weird. It's and, and it's causing a lot of anxiety for people, I think. Yeah, I think that's the biggest thing. Um, you know, masks represent a lot of things for us. I mean, it's kind of the icon of 2020 and COVID-19, but it also represents this weird mix between safety and fear. Uh, between disease and health and and doing our best honestly to try to protect ourselves and our families and so it's it's got a lot of things all rolled up into this one little piece of cloth or you know a surgical mask so it means a lot to us and so um, you know getting rid of that security blanket is going to take a little bit of adjustment and i think the biggest thing that comes with it is we have a lot of mixed messages um you know from the cdc mm -hmm. from the laws even different local mandates versus counties versus other countries you know so there's a lot of confusion there and so we're trying to do the best that we can however we're really afraid of being judged either way we're going to be stuck between a rock and a hard place whether you're wearing a mask or you're not right and so when we're talking to others uh, about masks um, I guess we need to know what the recommendations are we need to know what the mandates are we have to be informed yeah, you absolutely want to know and be prepared. Number one, be prepared. We're not going to be getting ras rid of masks completely, probably for a little while. So you always want to make sure that you have one available no matter what. The CDC does have um, a, a site that you can go to called Choosing Safer Activities that outlines for you uh, the different types of activities depending on your vaccination status, what they're uh, saying is generally safe versus things and activities that might require still um, social distancing and, and wearing the masks. Um, but really what it comes down to is that, you know, we each, all of us have to make our own decisions for ourselves and our families. Mm -hmm. And obviously if you um, are high risk and still need to wear a mask for any other reason that existed before COVID, you're going to want to continue to do that to protect uh, yourself and, and what you need to do. Um, and so a lot of the other principles when it comes to fear of being judged and being more confident and ability to assert your own needs about wearing a mask or not and being confronted about it is that you want to be number one, confident in yourself. You want to know yourself. Uh, you don't need to necessarily apologize to other people because this is about you and your health. Um, you want to convey compassion, empathy, and understanding. A lot of times when people are confronting others about masks one way or the other, it's rooted in fear. And so if you address that at its core rather than attacking with defensiveness and anger, frustration, um, you know, that's an, a wonderful place to start of saying things like, I understand that's your opinion. Um, <clears throat> but this is the best decision for me and my family or mm -hmm. thank you for your concern but this is the best decision for me right now um, you know you don't really owe anybody else uh, a Joe Schmo on the street any <laughs> real explanation about your health issues you know um, so we we encounter this a lot anyway in real life people wear rain jackets when it's raining and some don't but we don't necessarily call them out or get angry at them for it obviously it's a little different when it comes to masks and public health and safety uh, but the general principles are still the same you can respectfully agree to disagree and if you're put into a situation where you feel your health might be in danger 
for whatever reason, I mean, you have the choice uh, also to leave or set boundaries and anything else like that that you might need to do. Is there a way to respectfully, if somebody asks you if you're not wearing a mask, if they ask you if you're vaccinated or not, is there a way to uh, respectfully mm -hmm. maybe decline to answer or how do you go about that? Yeah, you can say that you are following the CDC's recommendations, mm -hmm. which is a, a vague and general enough statement, which uh, would be accurate for most people. Mm -hmm. If you feel comfortable about it, you could indicate that you're vaccinated. You know, about 38% of Ohioans are completely vaccinated, and we need about 70 to 80% for herd sure. immunity. Um, so, of course, in the medical world, we'd love it if people still, uh, you know, took their safety as a very high priority, even with the relaxation of the rules. Um, but really, it's about um, being kind of neutral, open, and only sharing what you need to. Okay. Or you could say something to the effect of, uh, I appreciate your concern, but I'm being safe. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. I mean, good. Uh, this is going to be coming up here in the weeks ahead. So good strategies. Thank you, Dr. Kelly, for joining us this morning. More Your Day is on.